So here we go, it's filing time, and I bought some long, cheap, soft, nasty metal files. At the end of the last video, I showed some weld blobs that had come through on the seat post tube, so I had to buy files long enough to reach down the tube. So it looks like the weld has gone through here and created some blobs. I am using the wide rounded file and it fits the profile of the seat tube well. I will have to be careful to only file the weld blobs and not the seat tube. So with a bit of gentle filing, the blobby wells have been eradicated. And after all that careful filing, the seat post is still too tight and only goes halfway down the seat tube. So I will have to cut the seat post once the bike is assembled. Next on the list is the file mounting for the motor. The fitting is too tight, but I have to be careful not to file too much as the motor does need to be tight. to the side so it will not get caught and you will see how hard it is to get the motor in. I'm using a screwdriver to get the holes to line up so I can push the bolt through. Checking with the torch and the bolt holes still do not line up and are about one millimeter out, so drastic measures are about to take place. If you do not like expensive electric motors being hit with a piece of wood and a hammer, then please look away. holes are near enough in the right place. So the next thing to do is to tap the three bolts through. You can't damage the threads as the bolts are shouldered so the thread is smaller than the hole. This bolt was still a bit tight, so I moved on to the back one first. bolts are in and the motor is in its correct place. I did not use excessive force and tried to hit them as light as possible. So you can see here that there's a bit of space there. There's space right around there for the wires because it's a hole. Can't see it, get a light. 
there's a hole there for the battery wire to go in. So it's quite tight. And this obviously has to cover and that goes like that. There is also another two holes for wires and brake cables and the gear selector cable. Here's a few new parts I bought that I will be fitting in part 5. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos as it does help the channel. The next part should be soon and sorry for the long delay from part 3.